All right, so where we left off in the last video was we hooked up the data for this aggregated dividend component. Now, I just realized that we made a huge mistake and we need to fix it. So in the aggregated dividend component, um, we are taking the years based on this select uh, box and we're getting the appropriate keys. So if we have 20 years selected here, then in our code, this get valid keys function will return an array of uh, the years between 2020 and 2000. So we get an array with the correct keys. And what we want to do is we want to match that to our data. So our stocks have these keys right here. And we want to match that with the keys that we get back from this function. Now, in our calculate total dividends function, we are taking in those keys and we are looping over the dividend of the stock. And for the total, we are adding in the dividend and that key. Now, the problem occurs because um, if we take a look at our data set, we don't have all the years from 2020 to 2000 covered in all of our stocks. I mean, none of our stocks have all of those years. So some of these properties are going to be undefined. And that's a problem for us because we are adding the dividends and the key. So that means we're adding undefined to our total. And that makes it so that we get a JavaScript property called not a number. So that means that our entire sorting mechanism is going to fail because you can't really sort by not a number. All right. So in order to fix this, we're going to have to check if dividends key is something and only then do we want to do this. Now, another thing I noticed is that um, these two functions are basically equivalent. So they're doing the same things. They're just taking different kinds of input. So what I want to do is I want to remove this function completely and just use this one. So what we'll do is we'll go to our dividend and in this component we are passing or we want to pass down the stock. And it looks like we already are. So we are going to go back to the aggregated dividend and we'll add the stock in here. And then we'll do down in our render function, instead of get total dividends, we are going to be using this get total dividend per stock. And then we'll pass in the stock here. And in the get average, I think what I want to do is I want to just remove the ticker and the dividends here and then just use the stock object. So we'll remove those and go to um, the dividend and we'll remove the them from the props. And then we'll find the ticker here. Oops. So here we're passing it in. Now it needs to be stock.ticker because now we're passing down the entire stock object and this exists on that. And what else? Let's see. Um, so I think here we need to say stock.dividends as well. And let's go back and check. So in line 124, we have another issue. And so, yeah, so it's here. So we're going to remove that function. Let's go ahead and remove this. And 
evidence is not defined. So let's go and find the right here. We want to say stock dot dividends. And now we should be able to get the correct results again. All right, sweet. So we've cleaned up our code a little bit, uh, removed some duplication and fixed the bug. That's not too bad for five minutes of work. So um, in the next video, we're going to handle creating the research part of the stock view. So uh, we'll get started on building the markup for uh, these cards and then we'll get to work on adding a small form as well. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next